Hello, this is Les Walkling and welcome to our studio and this short presentation on brushwork. Now, when an artist hands over the drawing of the image to the democracy of a lens, a great deal is forsaken, though in some circumstances spectacular performances in front of the lens can more than compensate. But when the photographed moment recalls less than was present or less than is remembered, other measures are needed to salvage the image. In the analogue darkroom, light is redistributed by dodging, burning and masking techniques. And just like my darkroom printing packs, when we preserve our digital image adjustments on separate image layers, they are also archived and can be repurposed as needed. Local contrast is enhanced in the analogue darkroom with brushes, chemically intensifying and reducing the image, while in the digital light room, brushwork also remains the most effective method of evoking drawing options that no lens can provide. But the motivation to work with brushes is not a given, for it is neither endemic nor necessary to the act of photographing, at least not in the same way the additive act of brushwork in easel painting inevitably results in a physical painting. Brushwork, therefore, assumes a relationship with images as objects, which is something entirely more than the autographic simulation of something else. This way of working photographically, therefore, encompasses the art of drawing, which is easy for me to say because my first university appointment was teaching life drawing in the art school. But drawing in of itself, whether by lens or by hand, always foregrounds the geometry of pictorial logic and indeed the reason an image's poetic logic can be so insistent, compelling and enthralling above and beyond what was in front of the lens. For drawn gestures, like thoughts and actions, presume agency, desire and capacity. They draw from us and they draw on us. And if we work on separate image adjustment layers, no matter how many considerations and refinements are changed on a layer, only one adjustment is finally applied by that layer to the image when it is rendered, flattened or printed, resulting in not only an archive, but also a less destructive and object-oriented analogue-like digital workflow. And when local values need to be adjusted, brushwork on a layer's mask will wholly or variably reveal, hide or shade the effect. And while masks based on the image's tonal and colour compositions whose Lightness, contrast, hue or saturation differences facilitate increasing degrees of precision, brushwork provides the opportunities for even more insightful, engaging and poetic effects. We can even create digital printing packs by adding a new layer filled with 50% grey and blend it on a contrast blending mode such as overlay. Blend it on normal, it is just a 50% grey paint layer. But blended on overlay, values darker than 50% grey are darkened and intensified, while values lighter than 50% grey are lightened and intensified. Overlay blended 50% grey is therefore invisible with no effect on the image, because 50% grey is the middle grey crossover point between shadows and highlights, and therefore the crossover point between the darkened and lightened blending modes. Painting with a black or white paintbrush on a middle grey overlay blended layer will therefore darken or lighten the image respectively, which is why I name it a dodging and burning layer. Even more control is possible by initially remapping which pixels are 50% grey and therefore which pixels are being darkened and lightened and which pixels remain unchanged when blended on a contrast blending mode. Keyboard shortcuts further facilitate fast and fluid editing. In this example, B selects Photoshop's paintbrush tool. D resets Photoshop's color picker's default black, foreground and white background colors, while X swaps between the foreground and background colors, thereby providing an incredibly efficient, intuitive and responsive locally attenuated workflow. Also, numbers change the brush's opacity or strength where 1 equals 10% opacity and 0 equals 100% opacity. While the shift and numbers keys 
change the brush's flow or rate of application. For example, Shift plus 1 sets the flow to 10% and Shift plus 0 produces 100% unconstrained flow. Setting the brush opacity and flow to low values facilitates subtle but smooth dodging and burning effects on a dodging and burning layer or smooth but decisive revealing and hiding effects on an adjustment layer mask. Square bracket keys change brush diameters and shift plus square bracket keys change the brush's hardness or softness. Right clicking anywhere on the image shows the brush's menu where its settings can be checked or fine tuned as needed. Even greater interactive brush controls are possible by holding down the control plus option keys while left clicking and dragging left and right to change the brush diameter or dragging up and down to change the brush opacity. And because a layer mask or dodging and burning layer is a pixel based image, we can also modify it via filters and any other image adjustment tool. For example, Mask edges can be softened and blended with a Gaussian blur filter, or the mask's contrast and density, and therefore its effect on the image, can be altered via brightness and contrast editing tools. Adjustment layer masks and dodging and burning layers thereby enable the local redistribution of global values in an archived and less destructive digital imaging workflow, where our brushwork, in particular, enshrines the accumulative poetic and imaginative advantages of nearly 200 years of photographic history, culture, practice and creation. I hope you have found this both interesting and informative and I wish you all the best with your adventures in brushwork.